What's up, guys? It's me, your badass host, Draven, and welcome to another episode of our Pokemon Emerald walkthrough. Okay, so yeah, look at that. We saved the world. Or better yet, we saved the, the, the whole Hoenn region uh, from uh, utter destruction and all that stuff. Yes, we have saved everybody. Yes, and uh, now it is finally time for us to go straight to the gym because, well, we need, uh, we, 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 we need another badge. We got an HM. We got everything. Now it is finally time. Now, if you guys can tell, this is Pokemon Emerald. Wallace is right there. He's no longer the gym leader. Eventually, you'll find out what he is. And, well, this is a water-type gym, as always. Talk to the only man that's ever believed in you, and he's going to be like, Yo, how's it going, Champion Bound Draven? Sue Topless Gym Leader Juan is the master water-type Pokemon. And to get to Juan, an icy floor will hamper your progress. Listen, I'm sorry, but that's all, all the advice I can uh, have for you. The rest of you, or the rest of the way, you have to go for yourself. Okay. So, what we're going to be doing is we're going to go, be going from the top all the way down to the bottom to actually, you know, take on uh, Juan. So, let's see if I got this all correct and all that credit. It's usually it's usually the third one that I always get wrong. But we're going to purposely get it all incorrect, as you guys can see. Bam. Sends us back, and we got a buttload of trainers. A lot of female trainers. Yes. So, let's go right ahead and start dominating. Alrighty. Bring it. Okay, so here it is. Beauty Tiffany wants the battle, and she's going to be coming out with her Carvana right here. And, well, you got to make sure to bring Pokemon that are electric and uh, grass-type Pokemon right here. So, let's go with a Shockwave. And just like that, bam, Carvana defeated. Okay. Alrighty. Now, if you guys remember, yes, uh, water-type Pokemon are very offensive, too. So, let's just go right ahead and switch out our Pokemon right here. Let's go with a Fighting-type Pokemon. And, well, Dulcim, ready to go. Ready to kick some butt. Ready to kick some, you know, take some names and all that stuff. And, well, let's go right ahead and go with a high jump and, uh, or high jump kick. And, of course, Sharpedo, faster than us. Taking down our special defense just a little bit. So, here we go. High jump kick for the win. Eat it. And just like that, Sharpedo has been defeated. What now? Okay, now, Rough Skin, yes, it will affect you. And, well, you we gotta level up our Pokemon right here. Okay. Let's go ahead and start battling everybody. There's a, there, there are quite a few Pokemon, I, or Pokemon trainers here. There's like about eight trainers, and as you guys probably can tell, yes, I'm not speeding up any of these battles because we're gonna, yeah, we're gonna have a nice episode where we're battling everybody. And, well... The goal is to get right into at least level 45 by the end of this episode right here, because it does have the experience share. This could prove useful right here. And, well, look at that. Clampier. Can Clamp Pearl has been defeated. And, well, Raiden, how's it going? Level 43. Here comes a Corpfish. Let's go with Sage of the Halo. Now, here's a little something, guys. I remember finding Corpfish. I remember wanting to use it. It is way too late into the game where you can actually get yourself a core fish. And uh, once you evolve it into a Crawdon, it, it, it just, it, I don't know, it just, I don't know. It kind of just, eh, it is what it is. I have my opinions about that Pokemon and all that. And uh, Crawdon doesn't really do it for me because it is both dark and water type Pokemon. But it does, very defensive, very slow. I don't know. Best of both worlds. Just not my cup of tea right here. So here we go with the Lombre. Let's get it. Let's go with Fly Attack right here. And well, the Fly Attack ready to hit, ready to go, and Fly Attack. Hit it. Lombre. Defeated. Okay. Alrighty. There it is. There we go. And we get some more points. Especially with the uh, the the experience boost for all our Pokemon. And well, let's continue our quest right here. We got one battle. Pokemon gym of the highest level in the Hoenn region. That's the Sutopolis gym. Okay, alrighty. Let's go. Bring it. And here we have another beauty. Her name is Bridget. And she is coming out with a Azumarill. Now, funny thing, guys. Back when I was playing Pokemon Omega Ruby, like back in the... Well, in my spare time, when I had spare time. Yeah. I remember breeding for a for an Azu or Azurill. And the funny thing was, I didn't, I didn't know exactly how to breed it. Didn't know that you needed an item. 
and right out of luck, boom, I got myself a shiny Meryl. That was kind of a, that was kind of fun, fun to see right there. One out of like how many percentage to get a Meryl or a shiny Meryl. So anywho, let's go right ahead, dig on Brianna, and she is coming out with her uh, Sea King right here. Obviously, it's a female, and we're gonna go back to this joke again. If it's a female, is it a Sea King or a Sea Queen? Is it being misgendered? I don't know. I'm not that soft. So here we go, Sea King defeated, and well, Brianna has been defeated. Yeah, that's right. Look at that. And well, here we got we got what? We got two more trainers left. So let's go ahead and take on her. You came all this way here, but you won't get to see Juan. Not if you lose to me, you won't. Yeah. Well, let's see what happens. Bring it on. Here we go, Chrissy wants the battle and she is coming out with her Goldeen. So let's go right ahead and take care of business with Raiden right here. Look at this, Raiden, how's it going? Shockwave for the win. Mm-hmm. That's right, Shockwave for the win. Goldeen has been defeated. Yes. Alrighty, okay. And, well, here comes a Whalmer. So let's go ahead and give some love to Sage of the Halo. Now, in our last episode, or two episodes ago, Sage finally grew to level 50. That is a big, big positive for us because, well, you know, that's, what, one less Pokemon down to get it to level 50. Now, here we go. Leaf Blade for the win. And just like that, Leaf Blade does the trick. There you go. Look at this. That's right. Oh my god. And Chrissy has been defeated. Oh yeah. Okay. And, well, let's go ahead and take on her. When I'm with my Pokemon, the time flies by the... Uh, fly, time flies by before you can say oops. That is true. That is very, very true. Okay. So, let's go right ahead and take on Bithany. And yes, there is an Azuril. Believe it or not, you can actually breed for an Azuril. Now, you can't really breed it in the more traditional sense, like two Merrells or a Ditto or anything like that. You actually have to have a, a Merrill holding an item, and I think it's an incense that you have to hold in order to evolve or to get a Merrill or an Azuril, I should say. And I might just be, uh, I might just be, whatchamacallit, showing that off later on, I don't know, in this episode or not in this episode, but... This channel, whatever channel I have, it really doesn't matter. Let's go right ahead and take on Earthquake for the win. And, well, would you look at that? Earthquake does the trick. Vesuvius, you are a monster. You are a unit, a tank. And here comes the Zero Mural, so that's a Pokemon that we do not want to take on. So let's go straight for Sage of the Halo. And let's just give it a little bit of love right here. So here's Sage, and here comes Azumarill, and, well, let's go right ahead and do this. Leaf Blade for the win. Okay, alrighty, and just like that, we win. That's right, throwing out that peace sign. Okay, alrighty, okay, and, well, we have defeated Bethany, and she's like, oops. Mm-hmm, oops. Okay, so that def that's all the trainers up here in the third level. Now we have to go to the second level and go for a double battle. So what is going to happen here is we're going to be switching up our Pokemon to Sage of the Halo because yes, I don't want to I don't want to go without him. So here we go. The sight of Juan conducting a battle. The very beauty of it compelled me to become a trainer. Hmm. I can battle with really or with really rare Pokemon if you uh, like. Okay, really rare Pokemon. So, here we go. We're going to be taking on another trainer. Or two trainers, Daphne and Anika. Sounds like Anika. And, well, we're taking on some... Okay. Feebas is a very rare Pokemon, but it's a very weak Pokemon. So, let's go with a Shockwave. Let's go with a Leaf Blade. Let's finish these guys off. Alrighty. And Leaf Blade for the win. That's how you do it. Okay, alrighty, alrighty. And look at this, Raiden grows to level 44. And well, here comes another two Pokemon. Love Disc yet again. And here comes Shockwave, hopefully for the win. Let's get it. Shockwave does the trick. Say goodbye to Feebass. And well, Love Disc, it's looking down, looking down. it's gonna be like wondering what the heck's going on. And well, we got the same crew all over again. So let's go right ahead and do the shockwave. 
do the leaf blade. And... Oh, there it is. Look at that. Look at that. Okay. So, super effective. Love this has been defeated. And, well, here comes a shockwave attack for the win. And, come on. Finish it off. And there goes Feebass. Yes. We have defeated Feebass. And, well, that right there is it. And... <laughs> That was a... I guess you could say that was a little bit more interesting battle. I don't even know. Okay, so we got two more trainers right here, and I'll show you the sublime techniques I learned from our leader, Juan. Okay. What kind of sublime moves did you learn from Juan? Kind of sounds like he needs his own, like, montage. Juan! In another episode of Juan. Here we go. Thunder or Thunderbolt. And Thunderbolt is going. It is hitting. And there we go. Love Disc. Defeated. And just like that, we defeat Andrea. Okay. Alrighty. So who's next? Let's go straight for her. And she's going to be like, I should teach you how to har or how harsh battles can be. Hmm. How harsh battles can be. It's going to be very, very harsh. So here we go. Taking on a beauty Connie, and she's gonna be coming out with her con or her Goldeen. So let's go right ahead and get Raiden going. Let's go, the Shockwave for the win. And just like that, super effective. Goldeen has been defeated. Alrighty, okay, Connie defeated. Yes, I am very very strong. I am mighty. Okay, so that is all the trainers that you. Uh, that is all the trainers you have to face here in the gym. And believe it or not, they are optional. They are optional for you if you guys want to go ahead and just get more experience points. So what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to heal up my Pokemon and I'll be right back with you guys. Okay, guys. So here we are back and, well, it is finally time to take on the gym. And, yeah, go through this whole puzzle right here. Now, it's the first two that I always get correct because, you know, they're pretty easy. Third one is always the one that just gets at me because it's quite a few more steps. So, luckily for me, I got my handy-dandy cheat code, or not my cheat code, but my cheat uh, picture right here in order to guide me to, well, to Juan. Yes, Juan. So, what we need to do is go up, take a left, or take a right right here. And we take a few steps right here, going down. And we're going to go up. And I believe it's by this right here. There we go. And, oh, crap, baskets. There it is. I messed up. Holy crud. Okay, so let's go right ahead and screw this over again. That is the wrong one. That is the... <laughs> That is uh, the incorrect one. Hold on just a sec. Okay, this is the one right here. Wow, I was looking at the Pokemon Emerald version or the uh, Ruby and Sapphire version. No wonder. Okay, so... <laughs> Let's do this all over again because, yes, myself is... Uh, yes, I am feeling uh, kind of lazy right there. Okay, so let's go right here. And... Right up here. Okay, so... Now, the correct way to get about this, especially since it's a Pokemon Emerald, let's go towards the left, and yes, we're going to have to go all the way to the left, all the way to the top, down, and down, right here, and I believe you have to take it like a step down, there you go, and, well, it looks like to me... Okay, so we have to go up top right here. Look at this. Okay, look at it. Oh, my God. Yes, sir. Okay, and that is how you do it, guys. Don't do the first one. Do the second one. Okay, so here's Juan, the newest gym leader of the Pokemon uh, Ruby, Sapphire, Emerald versions right here. He happens to be the teacher of, uh, what's his name, uh, Wallace. So let's go right ahead and talk to Juan. Let me ask you, did you know? Ah, I should not be so coy. It was I who taught Wallace everything there is to know about Pokemon. Once I've given up my position as the gym leader, in my place, I have entrusted Wallace with this gym. However, a compelling reason arose for me to, to make a comeback. Ah, but enough chatter. Let us begin our match, shall we? Please, you shall bear witness to the artistry. A grand illusion of a water sculpted by Pokemon and myself. Okay, so here we go. 
Don't know exactly what he said, but here he is. We're taking on Juan. And he's going to be coming out with a love disc right here, level 41. So make sure to have Pokemon at well above the level 40s because, yes, this is going to get a very, very interesting. So here we go. Leaf Blade for the win. And just like that, love disc has been defeated. Now, Juan does have, yeah, two, two Pokemon that are, you know, going to give you a little bit of an issue. But if you do have the right Pokemon for this... This could be a little easier. So we're going to go straight to Raiden right here. And here he comes out with Celio. Celio would, of course, mess with my Pokemon uh, Sage because Celio is, uh, is also an Ice-type Pokemon. So here we go. Thunderbolt for the win. And just like that, we have defeated Celio. Yes, didn't like that. Now here comes Whiskash. This is a Pokemon that you do have to be aware of if you do have an Electric-type Pokemon. Whiskash. Kind of like Wooper, kind of like Quagsire. It is both a water and ground type Pokemon. Yeah, it is. It, it will be stronger against any kind of uh, what you might call it uh, electric type Pokemon. So here we go, Leaf Blade for the win. Whiskash, eat it. That's right. That's how you do it. That's how you finish it. And uh, well, Raiden is uh, eliminated, or Raiden gets a little bit of experience points. Now here he comes out with a Kingdra. So we're gonna stay put with Sage. And we're going to be doing a few things, like, let's go ahead and go with the Screech. Now, Kingdra is a very difficult Pokemon to defeat, mainly because it is both Dragon and, uh, what was it called? Dragon and, uh, Water-type Pokemon. It does stuff like this. So, yeah, we're going to be doing that, and it's doing double team, so... Okay, so we... Okay, so, yeah, we're... Yeah, we're... Yeah, we're doing this. Okay, so... Come on. And we lose. Okay. So, I guess we weakened it enough to where we can actually hit it. So, let's go. Raid in. Go for the Shockwave because it never misses. There we go. And it does hit it. And here comes a Water Pulse attack. So, what we're going to try and do right here is we're going to try and paralyze this Pokemon because... Oh, Crap Baskets. Yeah, it is. Oh, Crap Baskets. Okay. So, I kind of did that to myself. And... Uh, Yes, we do need to... Yeah, we do need to uh, heal up our Pokemon right here. So, don't do what Draven does. Okay, so let's go with a Max Revive right here. And let's give it to Raiden. And here comes an Ice Beam. And let's go with a Screech Attack. Okay, so its defense has harshly fallen down. Let's go with a Dive Attack. Water Pulse is going to try and hit us. Kingdra, it's... Uh, what was it called? Uh, its physical defense is going down. It's gone down quite a bit. So if we could get one good hit on it, then it would actually work out. But here comes an Ice Beam attack. And, well, there we go. Yeah, we're not going to do Hadouken. So let's go with Dulcim right here. And, well, let's go with a high jump kick. And, <laughs> look at that. Yeah, we got our butts kicked. So here we go, Raiden. Shockwave. And it's falling asleep. Okay, so. Yeah, we're going to... Yeah, this is a battle of attrition right here. And... Oh my god, it's going to keep on doing this all over again. So, yeah, we're going to play this game. Okay, here we go. Thundershock. And just like that, we have defeated Kingdra. Okay, so don't do exactly what I did. And look at that. Raiden is learning Thunder. I am... Ooh, all Thunder attacks. This is kind of odd. It's kind of weird. Huh. You know what? Screw it. Let's go right ahead and take that quick attack. And uh, here comes a Crawdont. And, well, let's go ahead and go with Raiden. We're going to finish it off with just one Pokemon. And like I said before, yes, we finally reached level 45. Let's go with a Thunder Attack. And, oh, wow, I completely forgot that we were confused. So here we go. Thunder Attack for the win. Say goodbye to Crawdont. That's right. Okay, now the biggest di disappointment about this game is that, you know, the Team Aqua members never use Crawdon, and he's like, <laughs> excellent, very well, you are the winner. For, from you, I sense a brilliant shine of skill that will overcome all. However, compared with me or even Wallace, you are lacking in elegance. Perhaps I should make you a loan of my outfit. Okay, you know what? No. I am going to throw a middle finger at you. He's like, <laughs> I merely jest. Rather than my clothes, I shall reward you with this, the ring badge. And, yes, we're throwing out that peace sign. We are throwing out that goddamn peace sign. Yes. Look at that. 
Okay, so the peace sign. Having the rain badge it shall ensure you the full obedience of all your Pokemon to your every command. The rain badge also allows the use of the HM move waterfall to scale walls of cascading water. And so that you never forget the battle we share, take this. We get ourselves a TM03. This one is, well, water pulse. In use, it, it will occasionally confuse a target with ultrasonic waves. And yes, we get our phone number from him. And he's cool to go. And he's going to be like, the trainers who have gathered all the gym badges of all of Hoenn should make the way the uh, make way to the ultimate destination. The Pokemon League travel through the easternmost reaches of Hoenn to the to the island Evergrande. There you shall find the Pokemon League. Okay, so yeah, look at that. We win. We win. Okay, so that is eight badges in all, guys. Read him and weep him. And, well, we're going to be... Yeah. It's finally time to go to the Pokemon League. But... There's a big butt. Big old booty. We're going to be taking some side quests. Yes. Because there's quite a few things I would like to show you before we, we even head on to the Pokemon League. Now, the funny thing about this, guys, in Pokemon Emerald, I just found this out. We can capture Rayquaza right before the Pokemon League, and, uh, yeah, that, like, you know, just using Rayquaza alone. You can sweep all of the Pokemon League just because it's at level 70. Yeah, not going to do that. Definitely not going to do that. So, what's going to happen is, guys, we're going to be taking a side quest, and, uh, yeah, we're going to go straight to the Pokemon League. So, thank you guys again for watching. Thank you guys again for being patient, as always. I will be back for another episode of our Pokemon Emerald Walkthrough. See you guys.